Oh, I Gavna got that sausage roll in it. Sorry, I've been watching a lot, and I mean a lot, of Great British Baking Show. I love Noel Fielding and Paul Hollywood and Prue, and they all love sausage rolls, and who doesn't? Vegetarians. But they're kind of like pigs in a blanket, but for adults, you know? And adults like spicy mustard and like to pretend they're fancy like my neighbors with their fancy high collar capes and slicked back hair and weird complexion. Anyway, we're gonna do this partially from scratch, but I'm not super confident in making puff pastry yet, so that's from the store. But let me know if you want to see me struggle to make puff pastry from scratch in the comments below. With that said, all you really need to do is follow the instructions on the box, which involves leaving it out, letting it soften, and rolling it out all flat-like. Okay, now for the sausage. We're doing a Jimmy Dean hot sausage, but we're mixing it up in the best of ways. First, we gotta firm it up, which in this business means get the breadcrumbs in there. I do like a cup and a half or so. It's kind of like a big meatball, which I guess is sort of a meatloaf, which if you think about it is really just a small cow puzzle. How high up does this conspiracy theory go? X-Files music. Speaking of conspiracy theories, smoky bacon. Why does one part of the pork taste better than the others? I think it's because bacon is actually from aliens, and maybe even vegetarian, like it's a bacon plant from an alien world. Bacon bits aren't actually bacon, you know. What is it? I don't know, but it's not bacon. In case you didn't know, we're putting bacon bits in here. Well, I guess not really bacon bits, like bacon chunks? I don't know. Here's the thing, while I'm cutting and mixing this, I just want you to know that when you cook it, the bacon's still gonna be a little bit pink. I promise you it's fully cooked, but if that makes you uncomfy, just throw it in the skillet until it's a little bit closer to what you're looking for before you mix it in with the sausage. All right, last thing we're gonna do is chop up some herbs. I'm doing rosemary and thyme, but don't go overboard, just a touch is all you need. This is inspired by Britain after all, the place with the national flavor equivalent of the color beige. But we don't do beige flavors. We do Guy Fieri frosted tip flavors and drive loud muscle car flavors, which is why we place our sausagey logs into the, oh, we should not say place our sausagey logs. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let it go. Roll it like the river. Been a while since I made that reference, huh? It's from our tortilla video, which you can check out here if you want. Also, it's from Clarence Clearwater Revival. Cut them into equalish portions, then get them on a tray. We have one more log to do, but first let's take a moment to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, that's done. Now we wash with an egg, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's not washing, it's just brushing with an egg. What is the government trying to hide in the eggs? Are birds not real after all? That's a joke. Or is it? Sprinkle a little bit of pepper or some sesame seeds or whatever you got and pop them in that preheated oven for 25 minutes or until the internal temperature reads 155 degrees and the puff is poofy and golden brown. Which seems like it could be the description of Noel Fielding's outfit theme for next season of Bake Off. Hit me up, Noel, if I've inspired you. Beautiful. Just look at that puff. No soggy bottom. Nice and smoky, but just misses out on the Hollywood handshake because it's got too much flavor and Britain do be bland. Love your pies and custards and curries, though. Please don't eat me. I will get those baby blues to look at me in the eyes and shake my hand one day, Hollywood. Like, comment, and subscribe if Paul Hollywood should grant me the UK citizenship that I so desperately crave. 